Hello and welcome back. I am so happy that you guys, you know, wake up or uh, sit late and do your daily workouts and you are progressing towards your fitness goals. I am extremely happy to see you back. And as I normally do, without talking any more crap, let's just start our workout immediately. Okay, so stand straight. Um, we'll do. We'll be doing hip openings today. Uh, first we'll do some warm-ups or cars then we will do a couple of spinal waves with some forward bends and then we'll end the practice with a good hip opening session so be ready be mentally ready for the hip openers um, people who have any knee problems or any surgeries in their legs just be careful and cautious if it's going to hurt you uh, you can just stop the practice in between okay so let us start with Settling our mind first, close your eyes, focus on your breath, see how they are rising and falling naturally. Focus on the quality of your thoughts. How are you feeling today? You had a good sleep, bad sleep, bad day at office. Just stay with your thoughts. Because that's over now. We are starting our practice. Tune into your body and see how your body feels. You feeling stiff, supple, sore. Just accept the state of your body. Set your intentions for today's practice. Be clear. Vande Guruna Charana Rabinde Sangharshita Swatma Sukhavabodhe Nishreya Se Jangalika Yamane Sansar Hala Hala Moham Shanti Abahu Purushatkaram Shanka Chakra Siddharanam Sahastra Shir Samshwetam Pranamami Patanjali Om Rub your hands, rub your palms Face them on your eyes Slowly open your eyes So let's start the practice We will start with some rotations Hands straight let us externally rotate the arms. Start your movement from your biceps. Keep your elbows and other parts of your hand. Keep them active and stiff. So external rotation, internal rotation. In external rotation, you imagine your thumb. So if you are looking at the right hand, imagine your thumb going 
to your right side and for internal thumb is coming into your left side so external internal that's the that's a trick to remember so if you just keep your thumb out external is going to the right right hand goes to the right internal is right hand right thumb goes to the left okay so do a few more you, you have to focus on your shoulder joints here that's the reason your movement should initiate from your bicep and your shoulders and not from your elbow and your wrist okay it has to be from your biceps now you'll do some neck cards stretch the neck on the left side left hand on head right hand on shoulder and stretch keep a mild stretch the right slow neck rotation slowly i'll be sort of running through the warm up because now you know the concepts so that will take more time on the drills now start with the right hand for the cards externally rotate take your hand up circle it you'll reach a point where the hand doesn't go back at that time internally rotate take the hand back hold your elbow again take your hand out externally rotate bring it back we will do one more type of the left hand external rotation take it back then you have full resistance internal rotation down fold your elbow up external rotation and complete and show it from the back side how it looks external rotation take it back where it stops internal rotation fold elbow back left hand internal Now let's do some uh, hip cards. Like we did with the hand, take your right leg forward, externally rotate, externally rotate, up to the side. When you're doing this to the side, don't move your hips. You only your leg moves so that you get a good stretch here. Round, down. Now fold your. knees again up stretch come forward down left leg up stretch round down fold your knees up stretch forward down again right leg up stretch down fold the knees up stretch forward down <coughs> up stretch round down fold the leg up stretch forward down Let's do heel to toe. Toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel. Now we'll start with spinal waves, which are my favorite. So we'll two from your head and two from your waist. So let's start from the head. Exhale. Imagine each vertebra. Getting activated now, well, 
knee strike, legs active, be as slow as you can. And once you've reached, arch your back, head up, belly in. Start coming up slowly. You have to start from the neck this time. Right? Imagine your vertebral column getting activated. Once, once more. Exhale. Now let's start from the back, hips back, back arch, head up and you are not going to lose the activation of your head now while going down, otherwise you won't feel your one, uh, one vertebra coming down at time. Start going down, head up, head up, focus on your head and keep your back arched and rounded. Very good. Now let's get into downward dog. Let's stay there for five breaths, and then we'll do some hip opens in a downward dog. Get into long five breaths. For one. And remember, your legs have to be active and stretched. Heels ideally touching the ground, arms protracted and externally rotated. Three. Four. And five. Now, you have to raise the right leg and rotate. So raise your right leg, fold it and give, try to give a rotation. Try to make a big circle out of it. Three, four, five. Left leg, leg up. Fold, circle, one, two, three, open your hips as much as you can, four, five, okay, let's do it one more time. Left leg, one, two, three, four, five. Now come up. Feet, hips width apart. And we'll do a forward fold, which is Padangushtasan. Okay. Hips back. Start going down. Hold your toes. Those who cannot hold the toes, hold your knees, ankle, wherever you can. Arch your back. Lengthen the spine out of your out of your hip bone. 
okay lengthen the spine arch your back and while going down try to open your elbows and go down activating your core muscles stay wherever you can one two Four, five. Get up. Now we will get into our hip opening sequence. I hope the body is warmed up. We will get down. Let us get into a log pose. The log pose. You need to have your right. Ankle over your left knee, right knee over your left ankle. Both these, this should be in straight line. If you can't be here, if you are here somewhere, it's okay. You will slowly get to the right pose. <coughs> so you can use your hand once you try to do whatever uh, pose you can. You just try to push yourself. But don't injure. And once you are in a good lock pose, straighten your back, hands besides five deep breaths. One. If your right leg is above your left leg, then you should feel very good stretch in your right glute and your side thigh. Three. You have to try to touch your knee to this to the lower foot. Then you get a good stretch. Four, five. Now arching your back. Keep your hands above your uh, next to your. Just take your hands up. Externally rotate, protract. Try to touch the ceiling. And with active back and active hands, fold forward. You can fold only so much as you can. Your hands will not go. Your hands will not go uh, ahead of your ears. There will be in line of your ears. One, two. Don't lose the protraction. Don't lose the activation of your arms. Three, four. Those who can go deeper can go. Five. Hands down. Now, without even touching your legs, try to change your legs. Okay, those who can should do it. Those who cannot, go do as much as you can and then use your hands. Okay, again repeat five times. Same rule. Try to touch left knee to your right ankle. One, two, three. Hands up, pivot forward as much as you can. One, two, back and hands and ears in the same line. I hope you are getting good stretch in your left thigh and hips. Three. Five. Come up. We'll do this one more time. Change your legs. Now we will do a little bit of twisting in our pose. So right hand forward, left hand back, back arched and straight. Try to look back by pushing your left shoulder back and pulling your right shoulder forward. One, two, don't let your right knee lose contact with your left ankle. Three, if you are not already touching, at least maintain the pressure. Four, 
Five. Look forward. Next side. Look back from your right. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Now we'll get into Gomukhasan. Put your left leg. So put your uh, knee straight, uh, your thigh straight and fold your leg, fold your left leg. Then take your right leg over your left leg and fold your right leg also. The ideal position is you should have both your knees on top of each other. So be wherever you can. The main rule is your both your hips have to be grounded. If your hips are not grounded, then you are not going to get, if I am going to be lopsided like this, then there is no point. So you have your both your hips grounded. Stay here. Toes active. One. Back straight. Two. Feel. Try to pull your hips in so that you get good hip stretch. Just do a hips in. Three. Four. Five. Now take your hand, right hand up, left hand back. Rotate your arm internally and take your hand back and try to join both the hands. So, externally rotate, bring your left hand back, internally rotate your right hand, hold your hands. Stay here for five. One, keep your arms active. Two, shoulders active. You'll get a good shoulder stretch. Three, four, five. Now take your hands up. Now my right side is weak, so I might not be able to touch my right hand, but you have to keep on trying. Change your hands. You can barely touch. One, I'll get there with practice. Two, three, four, five. Chain side, right hand up, left hand back. You start till I get into the pose. Once more. One, two, three, four, five, change it. One, two, three, four. Now change legs without trying to touch your hands. Oops, I, I touched my hand, but yes. You have to just try to wiggle your feet. Once you're there, okay, sit other knee or use your hands and adjust yourself. Again, same, just be here, be here. Five breaths, toes active. One. Two, three, four, five. Right hand up, left hand back. Join your hands. One, two, three, four, five. Change your hands. Left hand internally rotate, right hand externally rotate. Try to join. One, two, three, four, five. Hand change. Right hand external, left hand internal. One, 
two, three, four, five. Change hands. Now we will do a 90-90. So you are just try to sit in such a way that your left leg is in 90 degrees. Okay? And your right leg is also in 90 degrees. So there are two right angles. And try to look straight. Now we are going to move from one side to the other side without touching our hands very slowly focusing on your entire internal thighs your groin your hip muscles your hip joints this is also hip flexors very very slowly activating every tiny muscle also of this portion these so lock pose go mukhasan and 1990 really help you open your hips for the next asanas okay so let's start start with the right leg take it up as much as you can once you are done slowly start picking up your left leg don't let the activation lose when you are in the center wait for a minute not a, a breath and then start slowly start going down on the left side and twist here you can touch your hands give a deeper stretch change Inhale, every time try to maintain the maximum distance between your thighs, the maximum wider the angle, more the hips will open, twist, do one more, right leg up, Left up, slowly, slowly, activate your core, ensure this angle is maximum. Shoulders, shoulder openings are my biggest weakness. I can't go beyond the range. I've improved a lot in the last more than a year, but I'm still far, far, far away. Okay, so good. Now stand up. We are going to get into Malasana garden, garden pose. This is going to be challenging, so friends. So be mentally prepared. Feet, hip width apart. We are going to squat down and we have touch your heels and stay there for good 20 breaths with our back arch. Those who cannot touch their heel down, bring something, bring a pillow, bring something where you can put it be beneath your heels but you won't be in the air, okay? Heels won't be in the air. So get down. Touch your heel to the ground. Those who cannot, as I said, have some pillow or something beneath. Now, with your elbows, push your knees to the side. Okay? So that you get a deeper stretch. Join your hands. Back straight. Dead straight. Your back should be hurting that straight. And arch your back now have some activation in your upper back and we will stay here for 20 breaths 20 deep breaths one two three 
we know that this is a hip opener, so focus on your hips. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Back straight, back straight, you're losing your back. Eight. And last 10 breaths are going to become more difficult. Nine, but you have to do this. This is one of the basic drills. I will activate your and energize your back and thighs. Then now lose your hands, put them straight and sit straight. One, no support of your elbows now. Two, back straight. Three, Try now with you just have to on your own try to push your knees away. Four, five, back straight. I'm reminding myself six, seven, back straight, guys. Eight, two more, two more, nine. You can do it. Ten. Now you can round your back just to give a little bit of relaxation. Touch your hands and relax your back. Those who have held it for 20 breaths, pat on your back. Now we'll do some more stretch. So right hand on the floor. Sway on your right side. Okay. Try to put your armpit to the knee. Sway on your right side and with your left hand gently push your left knee away creating that stretch in your hip muscles. One, two, three, four, five. Side change. One, two, three, four, five. Now, cup your right hand, arm, armpit to knee, and you have to twist. One, look at your fingers, back straight, full twist of your ribs. Two. Three arms active, fingers active. Four glutes active. Hip flexor active. Whole body should be active. Hip uh, stomach in. Five. Side change. One. Two. Three. Four. Five side change. One, two, three, four, five. One more. One, two. Settle down, keep your heels on the ground, just relax, just you can wiggle your thighs a little bit, just loosen up your back. The malasan sometimes tends to be a bit harsh on you in the beginning, but it's a great, a great exercise. Now we'll be doing two more excellent, my favorite hip openers, uh, pigeon pose and lizard pose. So let's get into pigeon first. So get into get into a downward dog first, and bring your left foot forward. Okay, 
and then set yourself down. Now, people have different ranges. You can have this like exact straight, or you can keep it down also. 45 degrees is also fine. So you have to give a deep stretch now to your thigh muscles. So start slowly going down and stretching your hip flexors. Your right leg, back leg should be active. The knees not on the floor but active and you are leaning on your left thigh. One, two, three. Feel your left leg hip flexor getting stretched and right quad getting stretched. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drop your knee. Get up. Get in a tabletop. Get in a downward dog. And now right leg forward. Pendular. Push your left leg back. Start getting on your thighs. Chest to thigh. Left leg active. Toe pointed out. One. This is a beginner version of pigeon. Two. Three. Four. Down dog. Bring your right foot next to your hand or your palm as we do in a mountain flex, mountain climber. Those who don't have this range, be wherever you want. But this is very important. Now you have to go down on your elbows, okay, and give a very very deep stretch to your back leg, okay. So, just look at me. Put your left elbow first. Then put your right elbow. Back leg straight. Right leg active. 10 breaths. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, look between your hands, seven, eight, nine, ten, drop your knee, get up, I know it was tough, all of us are learning, but you have to endure the stretch. Otherwise, you won't be able to get to the next level. And these stretches are very, very important because the more you stretch your muscle, first of all, you build your muscle, you burn your calories. Good muscle stretch helps blood circulation. So it's extremely important for the body. And very, very, very importantly, what I have personally experienced is when you are enduring and that stretch and that pain and you are focusing on the breath and relaxing, it gives extreme mental peace and it will help you stabilize your anxiety, stabilize your you know, hormonal imbalances. So that's really the time when your yoga is going to start working on your mental health. Okay? 
So left leg now. Right elbow down. Left elbow down. If your elbows are hanging, it's okay. At least have one elbow down. Let the other one be hanging. But you have to eventually try to touch both the elbows. Back leg straight, left leg active. One. Look between your hands. Two. Three, core active, back active. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Drop your knee. Get up. Get into tabletop. Now we'll start winding down. Then you'll we'll be happy. Uh, I wanted to take a couple more, but then you know these are one of the beginners. This is the whole parivartan is for beginners. Uh, we all are trying to get out of our inertia, try to give, get out of our comfort zones. That is the objective. Means we are not doing any uh, intermediate or advanced level asanas. Get on your back. We'll do a happy baby pose. Hold your toes. Take your knees parallel, hips parallel to the ground. And spread your legs. Okay. It's called happy baby by the western culture. Because many a times you'll see babies in this position. One, give a deep stretch to your inner thighs, your flexors. Two, three, four, five. Just don't hold your toes, activate your thighs. Six. This is not Shavasana. Seven. Try to pull your knees to the ground. And give a deeper stretch. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. Get up. Upavishta Konasana. Spread your legs. As much as you can. We are not going to do the complete asana of holding your outer sole and touching your head. Those who can do, may do it. But I will be taking a big, bigger version here. Back straight. Knees locked. Toes. So legs sort of internally rotated minor. And keep your hands up and start rocking. Back straight. Feel your whole hamstring and calves getting active as well as your hips and your hip joints. Stay where you want, take a breath and then come up. Do 10 times, every time try to increase your range. 1, 2, hold, up, 3, Hold, up, four, hold, up, five, hold, up, six, hold, up, seven, Hold, up, those who can touch their toes can do that, eight, go down, hold, up, nine, <clears throat> ten, 
hold up bend hold five breaths one two three four Slowly fold your legs. We'll get into closing sequence now. So post Konasan was extempore, it was not planned, but I thought one of the best hip openers I am not taking it. So I changed my menu for today. Now take your left leg up. This is relaxing position. Hold wherever you can. Bottom leg straight and pull it to yourself. Toe straight. One, two, three, four. Wherever you are, activate your core, have a good stretch, two, three, Pull the legs, arms up, unfold it, like just relax, let gravity take control and pull down your knees, don't exert, don't overdo anything, just relax, keep focusing on your breath. Straighten your legs and get in Shavasana. Focus on your breath. While breathing, start relaxing your body from your head to toe. Start relaxing, relax all your hamstring muscles, glute muscles, quad muscles, groin, hip flexor. Your whole lower body which is called that stretch today. Thank your body for letting you do today's practice. Don't judge. Everybody has got a range. Everybody has got an anatomy. Everybody will have a speed. So don't judge your body. Thank your body. Your body is serving you. without any expectation. Take care of your body. Thank all the people because of whom you can do it. You can take out time for these 45 minutes. Thank your parents, thank your spouse, children who are giving you this time to exercise. Appreciate 
everybody who is helping you transform. Take a note of today's practice and see what went wrong, where do you need more effort and try to see if you can imbibe certain things in your daily life. The way you sit on a dining table, the way you sit on a sofa, the way you read the newspaper, the way you sit on your office chair. Just try to think whether you have a straight back, whether you sit with folded legs, whether you just drop your legs, whether you are, whenever you are sleeping, whenever you are standing, whether you have the right posture. Try to build the muscle memory of your exercise into your daily routine. Take a deep breath and turn to your right, your right hand below your head. Observe the difference in the breathing pattern. Slowly get up and sit straight, eyes closed. Join your hands. Sosti Prajabhya Pariparyanta Nyayena Margena Mahimahisha Gugram Hanipya Shubhamastha Mithyam Lokaha Samastha Sukhino Bhavantu Om Shanti 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 Rub your palms Put them on your eyes Slowly open your eyes. I hope you have enjoyed today's hip opener. I hope it was an eye opener for you. <laughs> Looking at the flexibility, maybe most of you would have uh, experienced. Uh, to work on it, it's not difficult. I have a very, very bad and stiff bone structure and bone anatomy. I have taken a lot of efforts. All of you also take a lot of efforts. Um, I can see, if you can see, like, my Rupavishta Konaskan still doesn't have a very flat back. So uh, everybody is learning, don't judge yourself, uh, as you know, as I always say, if you have any doubts, any questions, message me on my Insta, which is rdphadke, rd uh, you can send me pictures. Uh, one more thing which I will urge you to do is, in most of the, uh, most of the practice, try to have your camera somewhere, where you can uh, take pictures of your certain poses, and every month, you know, try to have uh, another picture and try to compare yourself where you have improved and you will be astonished with the result. You, when you are doing yoga, you feel, you know, you sometimes get those tinkers that hey, mera haath idhar tak nahi ja tha. my leg was not turning so much. So you have those revelations, you have those experiences, but you know, looking it in a picture of like a before after or something, it really motivates you to keep on working. So these are small motivation factors. Keep on clicking pictures, work out in pairs, uh, it's better to have partners when you work out, uh, you know, at least if you are sleepy and drowsy at some point of time, your partner will uh, push you to start the workout. So have your own ways of keeping motivated and most importantly commit yourself. 
and there is a purpose and there is a reason you have decided to participate in this project just be uh, meticulous and go till the end okay so see you guys bye bye and take care see you